guys, this is Michelle from Heal Your Autism. Mark is about to cook something yummy for us. What is it, Mark? Yes, I am going to cook for you guys today, and I'm going to show you all the methods, but it's a Southwestern-style vegetable stew. Now, uh, it'll be medical medium compliant, but for you folks who are on GAPS, I can show you how to gapify it. <clears throat> so we're going to do that. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, though, is we're going to go through all the ingredients and the spices and that kind of stuff uh, and whatever herbs I'm using so that you'll know what they are. Then we'll pause, <clears throat> and then from then I'll uh, prep all of this stuff, and I'll show you what it should look like once it's prepped, and then from there I'll show you how to cook it. And it cooks in a few stages, uh, and it's easy, but I'll show you exactly how easy it is. <clears throat> all right, so we'll start with, on the left over here, because, you know, we all read from left to right. Well, not all of us. <clears throat> but um, cilantro. Now, for you folks who aren't familiar with this, uh, it may be called coriander where you're from, leafy coriander. Uh, these are green bell peppers turning ripe. Because they turn red, most of us know that, some of us don't. Uh, these are just plain old bell green peppers that are uh, ripening. We went to the farmer's market this morning. Yeah, these are local where... bell peppers. Yeah. Uh, and I'll point out the local stuff as well. Uh, the white mushrooms, these are Mexican. They come from Mexico, <laughs> which, is, is fine. which is fine. Uh, uh, they're, uh, no problem with those. Then uh, plain old carrots, just orange carrots. And for those of you who don't know, there are other colors of carrots as well. <clears throat> uh, okra. Now, this is the one vegetable I've never heard medical medium talk about. So I don't know if it's compliant or not. I'm waiting on information back. But uh, I'll get back to you on this once the jury comes back in with this decision. But they <clears throat> had them at the farmer's market, so that's they where were, they came from. These are local grown here in Oklahoma, like the peppers. Uh, <clears throat> a red onion. A butternut, or a, yeah, butternut squash, and I got that at a local grocery store. Uh, now, let's see. Just so you know, I don't think any of this is organic, but that's okay because medical medium says you don't necessarily have to do organic. It's good, but if you can't, you're going to heal anyway. All right. So the stuff from the farmers market is likely organic, but they can't. They don't want to go for the label. Because it costs so much money. Well, it does, and it's a lot of work to do that. Uh, but then, uh, zucchinis. These were local, uh, grown here in Oklahoma. Uh, yellow squash. Uh, I got these at the grocery store. Uh, here, six cloves of garlic. All right? I don't do any cooking without garlic. We even, Michelle even makes a spinach soup smoothie with garlic, which is really good. Yeah, it's garlic, tomato, and spinach. In a, in, and then you blend it together. What's your liquid? Water. Oh, okay. All right. Anyway, so water. And then, these are Fresno peppers. Got at the farmer's market Got. Today. Uh, yeah, didn't get these at the farmer's market. Oh. These were uh, um, at the grocery store. Oh. But uh, anyway, uh, and here are the spices. And uh, I showed you the one herb. Well, here's another herb. Oregano. I'm going to use some of that. I've got two of those, actually. Chili powder. Right? Cumin. Smoked paprika, that'll uh, add a little bit, bit of complexity to the flavor of the finished stew. And poultry seasoning will do that as well. Uh, so I'm going to show you how we use all this stuff, but we're going to uh, pause right now. and We'll be back uh, when it's finished. Yeah, and I'm going to prep. 